In this video, we're going to set up a PayPal sandbox account so we can go ahead and test our PayPal integration with single issue purchases. So I've logged into developer.paypal.com and before I create a new app, I'm going to go to sandbox and accounts. By default, when you si sign up for PayPal developer, you'll get dash facilitator and dash buyer. So this is seller and buyer. Uh, because the Magloft account is a Singapore based account, when we tried testing this, we just couldn't get it to work with a Singapore seller, which was very odd. But long story short, creating a US seller, we were able to get it to work. So this is just in case that you run into trouble, you should definitely try with just the default accounts that have already been set up for you. In case you do want to set up a new country one, just click on create account. And then make sure you select United States as the country and business as the merchant account. So this is the seller. Then you have a bunch of settings that you can go ahead and, and play around with. It's quite simple. Once you have that, go back to my apps and credentials. We're going to scroll down. Now here is the live app that we set up. We're going to, for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to create a new one. Magloft Magazine Sandbox. And for this, make sure that you either select your default seller account or the new one if, it, if you can't get it to work with your default account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create it with the US account. Then again, just like the previous video where we set up for live, this time make sure you have Sandbox selected. You'll get a new set of client ID and secret keys. So again, just make sure this is for Sandbox, otherwise it won't work when we go ahead and test it. So just like in the previous video, you're going to copy the client ID and the secret from the sandbox environment, and you're going to paste that into your Magloft account. Before you can paste them in, you're just going to disconnect the live PayPal account that we have set up here. So just click on disconnect, and you'll see now that you can copy the client ID and the secret. And then again here, make sure that you set the environment to sandbox when we want to test this. And again, these are just demo keys that I'm creating. They will be deleted after this video. Uh, by any means, do not share these keys with anyone unless you trust them 100% with access to your PayPal account. So once you have the keys in there, go ahead and click Connect Account. And there we have it. The sandbox has now been set up. Now we can go ahead and test it in the web app. Again, I'm just going to refresh to make sure we get the latest changes in. Then I'm going to click on the shopping cart and I'm going to select PayPal. And here you can also see that it has the sandbox.paypal.com, which means that we're now in the testing environment. And the account that you want to use, you can find that from your PayPal developer account. If we go back to sandbox accounts, you should have a PayPal buyer at yourdomain.com or whatever it is. And that's the one that you want to use. If you need to reset this or change the password, if you can't remember it, go to profile. And then here you can click change password. And now the password is updated. So coming back to the web app, I'm going to change the buyer. I'm going to use PayPal dash buyer and I'll use the password. Click login. So now you can see I can pay with my PayPal balance. I'm going to go ahead and pay now. Purchase successful. And now you can see the lock has changed. It's now a play icon. If I click it, I get directly access to the issue. You'll also see from your account, you still don't have any subscriptions but you have a purchase. So this purchase is now tied to the account of this reader. You can also log into your test seller account by going to sandbox.paypal.com and log in with the credentials that you created for your seller. And here you can see the transaction from the test buyer. Once you're satisfied, don't forget to log back into your PayPal developer account. Go to my apps and credentials, scroll down, and make sure you copy back the live keys for your REST API app from PayPal. So make sure that you go back to Magloft, disconnect the Sandbox account, and then you connect with your live account. There you have it. That's how you add PayPal so that you can sell single issues. And hopefully soon you'll be able to sell subscriptions the same way.